It was the most rewarding project that I've ever done simply because I've gotten to connect with such incredible people. Uh, I often hear the criticism from people who about how I wrote a book. How could you write a book? You have not done anything. And I, to them, I say, you're right. But the 51 people who I interviewed for the book have done a lot of stuff. And their stories are very powerful. My story is nothing. But when you buy it, I still make the money. <laughs> Bill is in his element. He is, he looks very classy in this suit and he's mingling with a lot of uh, different folks here. Proud of you, Bill, and I will finish the book. I'll get past chapter one. This is Back Bay Social Club in the Back Bay. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a great read. Uh, Bill's a very smart guy and I think that will transcend into his writing. Comedy has taught me a tremendous amount about life. Uh, about a year ago before I started writing the book, um, I was going through a very difficult mental uh, health crisis. Uh, you know, I was, I was depressed. I didn't know quite why, but I was, I was not myself. And uh, in, in writing this book, you know, I, I talked to people like Gary Gullman, uh, like this woman, Adrienne Nicole LeBlanc, who studies comedians and the subculture of comedy. And one of the best quotes I got from Gary actually was, that comedy is a lot of free therapy. You just gotta go out and you know find something easy to make money. Go on. Look at your old man for a minute. Yeah. I met your mom. I divorced. Oh, that's easy money. That's easy money. <laughs> Some people don't get our humor because we can say it with a straight face, but there's a point to it. And then it takes people a couple of seconds, and then all of a sudden you'll see the big smile and they'll burst out laughing. But I think he's tapped into it more than any any of us because he's putting it into literature. He's putting it into, you know, comedy, and he's and he's using it at a different level. That's a that's a great thing to be able to do, make people laugh. I am uh, Bill Conley's grandmother, and uh, I would make him meatballs and raviolis all the time. And uh, he's a wonderful, wonderful young man. Tonight is very exciting because he wrote this book and I read it and it's beautiful. I think everyone should read it. He said, you know, in business they should put more comedy in. Well, I think they ought to do more comedy in every walk of life. You have to see him when he's dancing with his grandmother, which is um, Adele. Uh, he actually gets on his knees and he dances with his grandmother. I am on his knees. He's taller than I am. Comedians have this very interesting and unique ability to stand in front of a group of strangers and tell them the most insanely private details of their life. Uh, and, and I've never quite um, encountered a group of people like that otherwise. And I think there's something so real and powerful about it. And I, and I, uh, I love that about comedy. Because the people I perform comedy with come from very, very different backgrounds than myself. They are inspired by different things, their lives are very different than mine, but we share this common bond of wanting to go out and make people laugh on a stage, and sometimes doing it and sometimes not doing it, um, and we can bond over that, and there, there's something extremely powerful about that. Hi, smiley face. <laughs> Hi, wake your face. <laughs> Not to beat around the bush. Not to beat around the bush. Try and hook up. You guys a little for it. Did you tell you said that? Then you look bad. She's like, I said, what? <laughs> well, I already sent it by accident. I don't know if you accidentally sent that. <laughs> but yes. My name is Bill Conley. I'm an author. And what? And I make people laugh. Uh, it took me about three weeks to write this book. One week to think about it, the second week to write it out, and the third week to rest. It's really funny. It has everything you need to know about business, and it'll take you to the top. So if you're not going to buy the book, you know, first of all, leave. Second of all, um, there's only three things that I would want to impart on you. The first is to get out of your own head and um, become comfortable with vulnerability. It's okay to fail. 
In fact, I would encourage everyone to fail or to put themselves in a position where they're not going to necessarily succeed because that's where you're going to grow the most. Uh, and, and the more I interview super intelligent and successful people, the more I'm around them, the more I see that failure is the one thing that they all truly have in common. If you want to be successful in your career, whether you're an entrepreneur or you're an employee, you need soft skills. And so Bill is all about that. He's, been, he's built case studies. He himself is a case study. And through his book and through everything that he's teaching people, it's very relevant to not just what I stand for, what my company stands for, but what's required to be successful in the world today. I think it's a great book. I think he put a lot of work into it, and it shows in the, in the uh, final version of it. Good job, Bill. Very proud of you. It just describes Bill in every part of his life. It describes um, how I brought him up to be compassionate with people. But it describes Bill and who he is as a person. Do stuff, no matter what it is. If it's to write a book, if it's to write a screenplay, if it's to join a club, to take dance lessons, to do whatever the hell you, it is you want to do. Even if it doesn't directly lead you somewhere, it's never going to be something that you regret. I'm never going to regret writing this book. Uh, you know, My friends are never going to regret doing comedy. Um, it's not going to be a bad thing. The only thing you regret is the things that you did not do. Uh, and so I would invite all of you to just do stuff. I'm Anna and I edited Bill's book. How was Bill through this whole process of editing? Was he hard? No, he was pretty easy going. He's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> if you actually read the book, after the fourth page, there's a lot of blank pages and doodles. That's about it. That's, that's essentially funny business. A lot of people say that they couldn't do comedy because they would be so terrified. But I've said a joke in front of 200 people and not a single one of them laughed. And then I walked off the stage and I was still alive. And I think that that's really important to remember, is that most of the time when we make mistakes, nobody dies. Of course, if they do, that's a huge problem. <laughs> but as long as they don't, you have to keep things into perspective. Don't take life too seriously.